So in a pleasant surprise, if you didn't feel like taking the plunge to iOS 26, Apple is back this week with a new beta, again, this time building upon iOS 18. And we have finally gotten iOS 18.6 beta 1 installed on our iPhone 16e, and we are ready to put it to the test. As you can see, we're going through our typical splash screens, we're done, and we are back in business here, as you can see. So, a couple callouts here. This came in at about 7.1 gigabytes, so a pretty decent size. Again, not unsurprising for a full new beta build, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. And right off the bat also, we are not anticipating a ton of new features here since a lot of features are now being shifted and Apple's priorities have shifted to iOS 26 for obvious reasons. So let's go ahead and check the temperature build on this really quick to see how it's working post update. And I'm doing this just because as I showed in iOS 26's beta, it was ridiculously warm and actually still gets ridiculously warm after an update. But I am happy to say, at least on 18.6 beta 1, we are not going over 100 degrees in temperature, which is definitely great to see. And uh, really, it's not even that warm to the touch. You can feel it a little bit, but it is definitely usable, and you can ignore some of the added um, complications from that heat. Hopefully, that'll help with battery life as well if you're running these betas. But jumping into settings, general and about, you can see iOS 18.6 first beta has a full build number of 22G5054D. If you're new to Apple betas, the letter at the end of the build number signifies how close it is to be released, really. And you are wanting to find something near the beginning of the alphabet. So for this to come out with a first beta with a D build, that signals that Apple is pretty happy and confident in where this is right now. So we can only expect possibly two, three betas before an RC this could possibly and most likely will be released in July. We'll talk about the release schedule here in a second, but I just wanted to show you this. And also, let's talk about battery. So obviously battery life, we don't know yet, can't really tell, but battery health, this is a newer phone, still has 100% max capacity, good to see there. But one thing that a lot of people did have some questions about is obviously the iPhone storage from these updates, iOS 26, has a new secret mode where it'll save resources and storage for upgrades. Not the case here necessarily. So I just wanna show you exactly what the size of the system data is using. So you can see iOS as a whole is using 18.1 gigs with 11.82 going to iOS and another 6.28 going to just Apple intelligence. Um, yeah, that's huge, especially for something not really fully baked in yet and integrated, using up a lot of storage. If that's something you need back, you can obviously turn it off, but just wanted to show you kind of where we are with that. You can see this modem firmware is 1.03.60-1. And then also let's go ahead and jump into settings and see if we have an update here. So I didn't see one earlier, it is here now. And if you look at the release notes, you can see that there are no new release notes for this software. Um, that's Apple's MO right now in a nutshell. So I'm not expecting to see much new, like I said, but let's go ahead and jump into stocks like we normally do and bounce around. And I can tell you right off the bat, at least, it feels pretty good when jumping around. It is smooth. Let's jump into an article here and it's quick. So this is a nice, change in turn of events from what we were just dealing with with iOS 26. Obviously, you don't have that nice new liquid glass display uh, or UI, I should say, but that's not here nor there necessarily. But hopefully, more importantly, with all of the issues that 18.5 had, hopefully 18.6, even in this infancy in beta one, this will help and give us a lot more hope for what to look forward to in the near future. So jumping around, just kind of going into albums, everything again does seem to be pretty smooth and I will take it. So we will keep doing a deeper dive to kind of see what actually uh, is new, if there is anything else. I'm not anticipating too much. Like I said, honestly, everything is pretty much the same and what it will be going forward. 
I will say though also we are anticipating an 18.7 at some point before we officially wrap up. No more iOS 18, that'll be it, and we'll fully be integrated with iOS 26. So let's talk about releases like we were saying. Today is the 16th, a week after Apple unveiled iOS 26. I am not assuming we will get another iOS 26 beta 2 today. That will most likely come on the 23rd, and then possibly from the 16th, we will receive a second beta on the 30th, consistent with those two week periods in between betas one and two from Apple. So on the 30th, we can anticipate getting iOS 18.6 beta two, and then the 23rd next week, we will receive iOS 26 beta two. So obviously Apple's plan can change, who knows what they're actually gonna do, but if they follow their typical release cycle, that is what I am imagining us seeing. So huge update. If you are part of a beta program or you feel like taking the chances just because of how bad 18.5 is, this is your chance. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to pick it up and download it? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.